one. Good morning, my awesome friends and followers of the channel and the members. Thank you for your continued support as we move in the direction of transparency. As you can notice by my attire, today is Remembrance Sunday, actually. It is. I will be attending my local church. I have stopped going to London because I don't like the hypocrisy side of Remembrance Day. Um, I don't like the way veterans are exploited in London. And I, I go to the Senate half after Remembrance Day. I Sometimes I go before Remembrance Day, but I won't be part of the circus that takes place. Yeah, I was meant to go today to Woodbridge, and I even, I've even come and bothered by that. Uh, I'm going to go to my local church and just pay homage to those that never returned. Um, yeah, there we go. It is what it is, people. They had the remembrance service uh, last night, didn't they, in Albert Hall? And um, everyone looked immaculate, I must admit. They looked immaculate. Um, they all did, didn't they? The Princess of Wales, the Prince of Wales, Princess Royal, which is Princess Anne, for those who don't know. The King, they all, the Duke of Edinburgh and his wife, the Duchess of Edinburgh, they all, they all looked fantastic. It was, it was nice. It was, it was, it was actually uh, well done. Yeah, but I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I do, I don't like the circus of Remembrance Day. It's went from looking at it. It's went from the Hague Fund, which is this pop. It's called the Poppy Appeal now, but it used to be called the Hague Fund. Um, but uh, I think if Mr. Hague was around today, he would be livid at how raising money for veterans is exploited to pay big massive salaries for people that don't deserve it but there we go anyway moving on i'm a celebrity it's coming out very very soon uh i didn't really recognize hardly any of the people on it it's like it should be called can you believe i'm a celebrity that's what it should be called can you believe i'm a celebrity i mean i didn't know half the people on it but one person that did stand out Ulster's very own Barry McGuigan, ex-world champion boxer. Barry's in the jungle. Looking forward to that. I think I'll be supporting Barry. So will everyone in Northern Ireland. Barry McGuigan, eh? He was a great boxer. It used to be a cris crisps out, a packet of crisps out in Northern Ireland called, uh, well, McGuigan's, funny enough. Yeah, there we go. Shaped like a boxing glove. Yeah, so I will put in my support behind him. Yes, I have received the email to message from you. And I will tell you this, and I'll say it again. If you're not happy with donating money this year to the Royal British Legion, but you want to support veterans, why not support a veteran's own business instead? You'll get something from it and you'll be supporting him and his family. I would pick Soldier On Coffee. Why not buy a bag of coffee from Brian Phillips, who's a double amputee? Buy a bag of coffee from him. Could you be supporting him and his family? I'm just saying, you don't need to always give to the big charities. I mean... You could donate to the Royal British Legion and help them towards their £40 million a year annual salary for their staff members. I'm just saying, do your own research. Yeah, yeah. I have a gripe with military charities, if I'm honest. Um, I used to try and hold them to account and highlight their disgusting wages. But then, as you know, when that happens, fingers start pointing at you. Oh, Trevor must have stolen money. Oh, really? Really? Oh, God. There we go. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And they don't like it. They don't like it when a gallantry medal holder calls her name out in the media. They don't like it. And the fact is they need called out in the media, every one of them. You know. If you're paying forty million pounds staff salary to staff, you should be paying corporate tax. You should be paying tax. Every one of them. Yeah. I can tell you who's going to have a great day today. The Royal British Legion in Jersey, who have over a million pounds in their bank account. Well, I was told that by a member of the Royal British Legion in Jersey when I was there a few years ago. Yeah, the richest RBL in the UK is Jersey. Anyway, what else is happening? Um, the media. The media are going mad. They are determined to find out how Prince Andrew is staying in his lodge. Who's given him the money? Where did he get the money from? Where did he get... The They're going mad. They can't believe it. They're trying to find out who's given money. They don't actually think that a member of the royal family... Would have millions in their bank they, they just don't because they're thinking about how the late queen helped with that well they say the late queen helped paying off for ginger cafe 11 million or whatever it was allegedly but um so they think that he doesn't have any money that's how stupid the media is 
Yeah. But there we go. Oh, by the way, check this here out. If you're living in a Labour area. Labour. Labour members of Parliament are refusing to hold surgeries and speak to their constituents. Can you believe that? Labour MPs that were voted in by their constituents are refusing to speak to their constituents because of the abuse they are receiving over their new policies. Imagine that. Imagine voting in someone and then he refuses or she refuses to speak to the people that voted them in because they're a scared of all the backlash. Here's what you do then. Vote them out. Vote them out. Start getting your polls together. Start getting your uh, online um, petitions together and get rid of them. Get rid of them. Vote reform in. Bring someone in that actually cares about you. Shocking behaviour from Labour, but it's just going downhill and downhill and downhill, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, and even the new Tory leader, Kemi Badendock, I believe it is, has stated this, and I agree with her. The Labour Party's cabinet is filled with activists. There's no grown-ups in there. It's just filled with activists. Now, here's the problem we have with her. They were activists when they were the opposition, but they are still activists. But they are the government now. They haven't grown up. Labour did not ever think they were going to get voted in, so they have a cabinet filled with idiots that really don't know anything. They really don't. Look at the Chancellor. She is destroying the country. Massively. And she doesn't realise what she's done wrong. It's just, it's crazy. I've, I've never known a time like it. I really haven't. Yeah. But guess what? Listen to this story this morning. Harry and Meghan have decided to stay away from the Festival of Remembrance and instead release a little video from their Monty Shit Show in California. Listen, why are you releasing videos? Do you know what? I only talk about you because you are comedy gold. You are both comedy gold. You are both imbeciles, world victims, global victims. Do you know what? People, YouTubers talk. I now know why YouTubers talk about you. Because we cannot get over the hypocrisy, the stupidity, and just the nonsense that surround your circus. You are a circus and you two are the juggling clowns and everyone's watching because we just think it's funny. And you, and you know what? Yeah, you make everyone money because every time we talk about you, people watch it because no one in the world can believe how stupid and how, how pathetic you actually are. I mean, as if you need to release a video, as if people give a fuck who you are. You're just a comedy gold and thank you for supplying me and millions of YouTubers with extra money every month by reporting on your nonsense. Anyway, listen, that's enough from me today, I think. Bit of a short video this morning. Yeah, um, got a few things to do this morning. I've been invited to about 10 different places for Remembrance Day, including Colchester and Woodbridge. And I just, I don't like it. And I'll tell you why. I'm be, see when it comes to Remembrance Day, and I will point this out. A lot of veterans want to invite me for Remembrance Day just because I have that medal. They just want to be seen because I've got that medal. But all year round, they don't give a fuck and they don't call me. So no, I'd rather spend Remembrance Day this year with my son and my partner. I've got no time for people that ignore me 364 days a year. So have a wonderful day, everyone. Pay homage, have a drink on behalf of your fallen comrades. And remember, why not call me tomorrow when Remembrance Day's over? See how many people pick the phone up. Other than that, have a great day, everyone. And remember, uh, don't get too drunk if you are going to Remembrance Day. For those of you that have a drink for Fallen Comrade, some of us will be having a drink, about eight drinks for Fallen Comrades. Uh, so, um, yeah, take it easy today, everyone. Um, yeah, and most of all, stay safe.